the dean you need I am the dean you love Please come back to me I am the dean you know I am the dean you need I am the dean you love Please come back to me Alright, everybody now We need y'all to stand tall Everybody now, come on All around the world Sing it yes. Where's um, where's Naeem? Naeem um, had some miscalculation on his schedules and he was supposed to be in Balt, uh, England. But he didn't go to England, but we had already booked this gig with the flights and everything, mm -hmm. so. Next time. Next time, Naeem, next time. Stuck for the ball. <laughs> Others may brag, say that we lack, but they don't know about we had. This one was bigger. Than Is it? Oh, okay. I thought that was the size. Oh, they all look good to me. But I got the best one. They had the Yamaha size. Whoa! Oh, this is hot, man. <laughs> You're gonna jam in tonight, you know? <laughs> Come on, I'm so blessed. Everybody in here, say M U S. That I enjoyed playing, it was who? You remember us yet? Native Dean. And what I appreciated the most, not only as a teacher at an Islamic school, but specifically an Islamic studies teacher, was the fact that there were so many lessons intertwined with the lyrics. It was not just a song in the sheet that sounded good and that was it. There was so much benefit, especially, and I'm very confident they're going to play small D's. That was by far my favorite, my favorite one. Why? The number of lessons that you can benefit from that song. If you want your kids to listen to something, listen to some sort of music, some sort of nasheed, not only do I recommend, obviously, Islamic nasheed, but specifically, Native Deen, and you will see why. I love it. I love it. One more time. First of all, I want to say to the to the brother, the teacher. What's the teacher's name? The lad. That's right. The lad. That was. I mean, you put a lot of pressure on us, brother. But that was one of the the best intros that I've heard. And I don't even think you were like trying. He was just saying what he did. But for us. To know that there's a teacher and a place that we rarely go that's using our music to connect with the children. MashaAllah. MashaAllah. That made us feel really good. And he said, he knows for sure you're going to be doing small D's tonight, right? We, oh. we did not plan on doing that song tonight, but Abdullah, we're going to try. We're going to try. Just because you asked for it, we haven't practiced that song in a long time. We haven't performed small D's in maybe two years, about two years, but we're going to do it tonight for this community, because it's special. You guys are a special community. How many that? All right. Assalamu alaikum, we are here at the 
Um, it's a Granada Islamic Granada School. Islamic School. Yes. And you were saying? Um, I'm an Islamic Studies teacher here. Uh -huh. So it's part of my curriculum that I include uh, songs uh, for Nashis for a Native Dean. And it's part of, for example, if we're having a celebration in the class because the kids would have done something really nice. So the reward would be like uh, showing some songs for Islam and for Native Dean. Some of those beautiful songs that the, all the kids like is I Am Not Afraid to Stand Alone. Oh. And the other one is yes, Ramadan. Yes, and uh, in fact, all your songs, they just love it. They wait for the minute that they would hear your songs. In fact, I give them many options so they would choose your band. Um, young kids, they need these songs to um, add a value to their what they are learning yeah. in the Islamic uh, studies curriculum. Mashallah. So it really helps and we really appreciate that your effort that you don't know, it's really Sadaqa Jariya, you know, uh, infinite charity. <laughs> from the days of the Sahaba. Listen. Now with the duff, they played it with their hands, and it, it could sound like this. But when you add the sticks, it sounds like that. And when you add the snares, the snares are the springs on the bottom, like this. It goes like this. These are touching the bottom skin, and it, and it makes the snare sound. So actually, the drum was originated in the days of the Sahaba. The actual duff drum only had one skin on it, okay? Now, the, now the modern drum set of the snare drum has two drums, has two, has two skins on the top and the bottom. We have a trivia. See all those beautiful CDs that Mr. bought us? is putting out so nicely. He is going to give them out for the winner of the International Native Dean Islamic Trivia Quiz with your host, the number one uh, that we see in his heart. What in Arabic, in Islamic history, Arabic is What is the name of the year when our beloved Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa was born? There's there's a name for one of them? Ooh, ooh, the sister who we have the sister in the lead. Oh my god. Huh? I want to feel all oh, come on up! Yay! Can you tell me what beat what beats, what two beats the snare drum falls on? Two and four. Very good. So the, the bass drum is the last one, the biggest drum, which falls on what beats? One and three, one and three. So you have to use math. This is, music is all about math. You're dividing, you're dividing um, notes up. That's exactly how I play. Anytime you see me in the video, I'm always like that. Okay, now it's gonna be one and two and three and four. Sound good? Okay, one, two, Oh, oh, oh. Very good. Give it up. <laughs> <laughs> he does, I think. We need y'all to stand tall, everybody now. Come back to me, I am the Dean you know, 
I'm the Dean you need. I'm the Dean you love. Please come back to me.